Hello, everyone. My name is Martina, and I'm from Sweden. I live in Switzerland, where our company Destinus is headquartered. And we're building the airplanes of the future. So Destinus is a European company with uh, offices uh, in four different countries around Europe. And we are developing hydrogen-powered airplanes that will go much faster than any airplane you've seen before and really challenge the limit of space and time. So in today's world, time and flexibility are of the highest values to most of us. Many of you are living and working across different continents and uh, different time zones with your homes and your, your um, offices being spread across different countries around the world. And uh, we know that it really makes a difference to see people face to face. It's uh, really worth it when you take a trip to see a colleague, a friend or partners in another country, even if it's on the other side of the world. So the airplane industry and the aviation has really transformed the way that we live, work and relate to one another. It, um, if you can imagine steamboats and uh, the way we used to transport before, imagine if we had that today, it would be a whole different society. We have really connected with each other in a different way through transportation. Over the past 70 years, we've seen a lot of advancements in the aviation industry. We are flying further, we are building bigger planes so that we can carry more passengers, and the airplanes have become a lot safer as well. But there's still a big gap when it comes to fast, long-range transportation. It, you still have to embark on a 20-hour journey if you want to go all the way from Helsinki to Sydney. I don't know if any of you have uh, tried going to Australia before, but it's quite a tough route. So uh, not only that, that it takes uh, a painfully long time, it also has a massive impact on the environment. The aviation industry contributes to 2.5% of carbon emissions. And uh, I'm sure many of you have felt guilty from time to time for flying. I certainly have. We're still trying to, you know, eat vegetarian, uh, turn off the lights, or we're trying to recycle and take electric cars. But when it comes to flying, there's really no other reasonable alternative when we want to go far distances. So at Destinus, we're trying to change this. We're trying to tackle this big elephant in the room by developing a new type of transportation system that will challenge the way that we live and work around the world. And we're doing this by using hydrogen as fuel. With its high energy capacity, and its abundance, I mean, you can create it from water. We can develop airplanes that will go above the speed of sound. They will be able to go extremely long ranges and with zero carbon emissions. So hydrogen is really the fuel of the future for aviation. And a lot of the airline executives agree with me on that. And uh, you're probably wondering, what about the noise? If we're, if we're flying above the speed of sound, there will be a sonic boom. So how will we tackle this? Well, what we're doing is we're mapping out routes that will be above unpopulated land, so over the deserts and also over the oceans in order to reach far distances across the world. So that's why we're also designing these airplanes to be very long range. So you will be able to reach any place on Earth in about four hours. Imagine if you can go to Australia and see the kangaroos just over a weekend, or you can go on a lunch meeting in Silicon Valley just over the day. That would change and transform the way we live, work, and relate to one another. So you're probably wondering, how will we do this? We're going to be developing cutting-edge technologies that are in between the space industry and aviation industry. We'll design a novel arrow shape of a vehicle. Uh, we will master cryogenics, so in other words, handling of extremely cold. We're talking minus 250 degrees fluids. And we're already doing this today. And then, of course, put together an A-team. We already have 80 people in the company, and we were founded just last year. 
We raised 35 million euros so far in private investments. We have flown two prototypes, and I will show you a video just after this slide. And uh, we also started testing with hydrogen, and that was just uh, some weeks ago. So we're setting up one of the biggest hydrogen test rigs that you'll see in Europe, and one of the only ones as well. So this is a video of our second prototype, Eiger. So we flew it in October. Um, actually, its first flight was in April. We designed, built, and flew it in just six months' time. Our next prototype will look very similar to this, be about the same size, but it will cross the sound barrier. And we're going to do that already end of next year. Then by 2025, we will be introducing a prototype that can fly six times the speed of sound, hypersonic speeds. So today at Slush, I want to do something special. I want to reveal something that we have not done in public before. And that is our, our next product roadmap. This is new. This is the first time that I'm showing it here. And this is three classes that we plan to deliver over the next two decades. So we're going to be building the first vehicle that will fly transatlantic, and it will have around 25 passengers. The second vehicle will fly transpacific, and it will have about 100 passengers. And then our final grand product will be able to fly anywhere on this Earth, and it will have about 400 passengers. So that's about the same size as the largest intercontinental flights of today. And this is what it will look like. So our first vehicle, we call it Destinus S. We're going to introduce it to the market already by the end of this decade. And you're probably wondering, how are we going to be able to do this? Well, we're going to use some existing technologies so that we can go faster to market. And then we're going to be innovating on some areas as well. Specifically, we will be innovating on the hydrogen afterburner technology. We will also be innovating in terms of the autopilot system, uh, as well as the structure and uh, the cooling system to cool the leading edges of the vehicle. So expect to see airplanes like this flying in the, in the sky at the end of this decade from Paris to New York or London to Miami in just one and a half hours. And you're probably thinking that this is going to be super expensive. Well, actually, we do believe that the hydrogen price is going to drop significantly. We see a lot of hydrogen projects around the world right now. And we expect the price to, to go down to about $1 to $2 per kilogram. Um, and, and we want to make this available for business and economy class passengers alike. So getting down the cost is extremely important for us. And these products will really transform the aviation industry. Let's face it, if you can take a flight from Helsinki to Silicon Valley in just a couple of hours, that will completely transform and challenge time, space, and human potential. Thank you.